All right, that's that side. Had some problems on that side getting started. But I'm trying to do it with the camera between my legs here so I can't get the right angle of force. Now here's a, the most important part right here. If you look down the edge, see it's slightly concaved in and we have some bulbs of pressure left over from that platform that we just used so I'm gonna hook onto those these little points right here that's my platform there is no shearing and abrading on this side this is how we're gonna get a really sharp edge Same thing. I'm going to take a little pick up on the top of that ridge and go down on it. There we go. Make a small flake off next to it. Skip over. Next one. There we go. might be able to see how very sharp that edge is right there. Now if you look down at it from here, it's extremely sharp. Concave on both sides. Now the other one's got a bevel on one side and a concavity on the other side. So it's the difference between a beveled edge and what we would call a hollow ground edge. Now this needs to have some edge work done to it. Flake scar is similar from the copper prepared side and the uh, the non-abraded side <clears throat> but there are going to be some similarities in the way that the flakes come off from the two different techniques now there is no wrong way to do it just different um, copper side was used in um, Egypt and in Europe on the Danish daggers and the other technique I just demonstrated is how I believe the Native Americans were doing it here in the Americas so those are the two differences and of course you can use antler as well and it's pretty much the same thing. Now if you try to use antler on a copper prepared platform you find out pretty quickly it just doesn't work right. So that's kind of what got me going on this. Now for the final edge work on the non-abraded side I could just leave that as it is 
very rough and sharp. It's actually as sharp as a, a razor blade on each of those little points because I actually peeled away what little bit of platform there was. So if you look at the edge here, it's hard to tell. Was this side the side that was worked first? Or this side? Because they both look the same in the end. Now if you look at the other side, there should be a trace of the beveling that we did. You can see that it's rolled over and the other side is concave. And this side is concave on both sides. So a little bit of final edge work. I'm just going to leave it how it is and try cutting a piece of leather and we'll see which side cuts more. Alright, <clears throat> so here's our bifacially flaked, pressure flaked point. One side with copper, one side with steel actually using uh, traditional techniques. The reason I use steel is because I discovered this while researching Ishii and I decided to use steel. I could have used antler and got similar results. Could have even used copper for that matter. But the difference was is the style of flaking. So let's go ahead and try the, the copper side first. Let's see how deep it cuts. Just gonna start at the bottom and pull straight toward me as hard as I can and as deep as it will go. Oh, well that's what we got. And I also got a nice cut in the tip of my finger. That was pretty stupid. All right, let's try the other side. Whoa. Um, I rest my case. So there you have it. Blood included. So again, the copper technique, um, pretty much tailored to copper with the abrading stone. And uh, it was commonly used in Egypt and in Europe, mostly on the daggers and uh, Gerzian knives. And rarely used in North America, in my opinion. Um, the other style of flaking was commonly used in North America, South America, and I've even seen signs of it used in Europe as well. And there's quite a noticeable difference in the appearance of the flake scars, certainly a big difference on the edge, and as you can see, extremely sharp. So there you have it. I hope that everybody got some good information out of this. I know I've kind of left things, left some gray areas in the past. Um, I'll, I'll be doing more on this. This was just a little demonstration for fun. And uh, There you go. Thanks for watching.